hermosos, hermosas. Happy May. It is a new month. And I am so excited because there's a lot of things happening this month. Um, and it's one month closer to uh, a trip that I'm taking in July with a bunch of my girls. So I am excited and I am going to be doing, well, I plan to do a haul for um, some outfits that I'm going to be taking on that trip. So I'm excited. I hope that all of you are excited and that you guys are starting this month off right. Okay. Um, anyways, also Mother's Day is like right around the corner. So... Leave it in the comments if you guys are late shoppers or like early shoppers. I didn't even realize. <laughs> well, look, this is what happened. I got my mom a gift and then it said that it was going to be shipped. Like it said estimated ship day was going to be like the 9th. So I was like, damn, she's going to get it after Mother's Day. And I told my mom this, but she forgot. <laughs> and then today she calls me and she's like, do you have something to confess? It's like, no, what the hell? She's like, are you sure? Do you want, do you have anything to say to me? I was like, no, what? I didn't do anything, what's up? And you guys, I'm an adult, okay? And she's over here like making me feel like I did something wrong. And then she pulls out her gift. I was like, mom, you weren't supposed to open that. That's your Mother's Day gift. And she's like, oh, gracias, gracias, mija. But mom, do you like that? If your mom is like that, let me know in the comments. Um, but today I am going to do like a copper like a copper toned smoke. Um, I was thinking of doing like a really bold lip as well. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I already um, soaked my brows because last time it just took a little too long. So I am gonna go in with my SPF. I'm not doing glow drops this time. Um, I did a look earlier today in my stories. Where, where the hell is the lid? I just set it down. Oh, here it is. Again, I love this SPF because it protects my skin, but it is also a really good primer. And you don't get like a, a white cast, but the way that it feels, it feels really tacky. And that's why I like it. That's why I like the way that it feels. I am gonna put a tiny little bit more on my forehead i feel like it helps hold my um my makeup a little bit better i do still use a primer don't get me wrong but i just feel like we can never have too much um do you guys see my face that i'm making <laughs> that you we can never have like too much uh protection when it comes to how good our makeup is going to hold all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and should I do my makeup first or should I do my eyes first? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just go in for our base, okay? So, where's my brush? Oh, there it is. Again, going in with my flat top. I still haven't, you know what? I probably should change out my foundation because I'm already getting tan, but it makes it so much more difficult. So this is the complexion palette. It looks all yucky and icky. It comes with um, two concealers and a foundation. You can do like a highlight and general coverage and your foundation or like the way I do it, highlight and contour. So I am gonna be doing a cream contour today. Let's just go ahead and pop this baby out. Should have done this off camera, but it is what it is, guys. This is the reality here. Oh, shiza. They do come in these clamshells when you order a refill. And it's good because we're not just, you know, adding to the waste in this world. And since it is um, a magnetic pan, I can just pop it in. What is that? Oh, I got some of the little pleats. There you go. Looking amazing. Let's go ahead and... This foundation is wax-based. The first time I ever tried it, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this because I am, or I was, a really big... Let me put these little bodegos back. Um, I always use... I always used... Um, what is it called? Liquid foundations. So I was never a cream foundation girl 
but I haven't looked back. I've tried, I'm not gonna lie, I have tried a foundation since using the Lime Life Balcone foundation, but I'm never satisfied. Like, it doesn't feel the same way, it doesn't go on the same way, it's just, it is what it is. It could be a learning curve for a lot of people, but I love it. I think like once you try it and you get used to it, it's so much better. And look at that coverage. Look right here, you see all the redness from my rosacea and all of that stuff. And over here, look at that. Love it. Another thing I like about this foundation is a little goes a long way. I feel like that's what I say about all of these products, um, which I do love, especially because I don't wear makeup every day. I don't know if some of you guys are surprised by that, but I really don't. I mean, the pandemic happened, but even before the pandemic, like, I wasn't wearing makeup every day. It's growing up, I did break, I was like one of the first people to break out in school, like, uh, in my grade, or at least I felt like it. Um, so I used to wear makeup to cover that up. And uh, my skincare, it literally consisted of like the apricot scrub. If you, <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys, you guys know what it is. Um, literally, that is what my makeup consisted of. My makeup, my skincare consisted of which was like so, so sad, did not do any good for my, um, hello? I had to pause that real quick because army life. <laughs> my husband was calling me, check up on me and the girls. Um, so anyways, my, I was talking about my skincare. So my skin was like pretty bad. So um, once I, got older um and i got good skincare i started using lime life stuff and i did start use like you know what i don't want to say obviously like the products are amazing right but i think it's the consistency so if you're consistent with your skincare you're gonna see improvements right but then it's even better when you have great products so and that's, that's when I started like using less makeup is when I started to really feel great in my own skin because before I ain't even going to lie, you know, I didn't even allow people to take pictures of me or videos of me unless it was like a filter. And now I don't use filters. I mean, every once in a while, there's a cute filter like in my snap, in my, uh, not snap, sorry, in my IG stories. But even then, like I hardly ever use a filter. I don't use filters on my, um, in my pictures. And so anyways, that's the reason why I was telling you guys that is because I don't really wear makeup. I wear makeup to do my videos or to do something for work. And other than that, it's very rare, especially now that we're living here in Texas. Like, holy moly, guys, the heat here, it's barely starting and I'm already like, oh, like dreading it. And then my girls have eczema, so that doesn't help. And then they both have like two different types of eczema. My daughter, Mayela, she's my um oh shit i got something in my okay i think it went away oh shit she has eczema that looks like little tiny bumps and she gets it mostly like in her in her cheek like cheek area and then in the back of her arms and then dahlia she has like the eczema that is known to most people which is like dry patches but hers only like flares up um like in her folds, like so in, in the inside of her arms, the back of her knees. Um, and hers does bother her. Mayela's, hers doesn't bother her. But 
Anyway, so if y'all are in Texas or y'all have been to Texas, you guys let me know what's the best way to, well, I mean, we have, we have sun care. And don't tell me to stay inside because that's really hard with my girls. They love being out and running around and being on their scooters and, you know, using their skates. I'm hoping to get better. I mean, I love my Ricky mirror, don't get me wrong, but I'm hoping to get like better lights so that way, I don't know, I don't know. I say I want better lights, but at the same time, I'm like, this looks good. I like the way my video looks. I mean, it can always look better, but. Anyway, I think that's enough of my concealer. All right, I'm gonna do my brows before I do my, actually, no, what am I forgetting? My contour, duh. All right. So if you guys broke out really early on, let me know in the comments and what your go-to was. Because you know, when you're young, Unless your parents are like really savvy with like what, but then again, I, I mean, my age, I feel like at that time there wasn't a lot, there wasn't a lot of options. People were using um, proactive um, people. I did use that for a little bit, but let's not get into, let's not get into that because I don't want to bash anyone. I feel like nowadays there's like so many other options for skincare but then again with skincare everything's like trial and error you know because some things can like work really good and then you gotta like switch it out and then some things oh like i remember one specific um one specific brand i'm not even gonna tell you guys the name of the brand but i'm gonna tell you how it looks and you guys are gonna know what i'm talking about it's this orange liquid you can buy at a drugstore and the brand is actually like really popular okay there's like commercials and all that shit right so anyways i used it and at the time i was living in vegas and i used it and then i was like oh this feels good right like right off the bat using it i'm like okay cool it's gonna help my breakouts and then throughout the day, I started getting like this tightness feeling. And I was like, what the hell is that feeling? What the hell? Sure enough, throughout the day, like it just got tighter and tighter. And then I ended up washing my face with something else. I think I honestly, I think I messed it up even worse because I used oil of LA like body, like a bar soap to, I don't know. I think I was like in panic mode. And I was like, holy moly, like this, I want to get this feeling off. And then I did moisturize, but then the next day I woke up and my nose area, like all of this section right here in my chin area was peeling. And I was like, holy shit, man. So I got a chemical burn. Oh my gosh. The worst, man, the worst. I remember after that, I was like, I'm never using this brand ever again. But I was... I thought because, you know, there's commercials and blah, 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 and I wasn't educated in skincare. Um, I just thought, it'll work. Yeah, little did I know it would work. It was bad. I don't go crazy with, like, nose contour. I just a tiny bit on the side and I always like to bring it up into like my brow area and then I go in with a clean brush and try to just blend it out as much as possible again it's very rare that you guys will actually see me 
like swiping because my skin is textured and that'll just fudge up my whole look. All right, I think that's it for the contour. Now I am going to set my under eyes just because I don't want it to move around. And I'm going to set it with a damp blender form. Where's my setting spray? Here it is. For a long time, I did use like water to dampen my sponge. And then one time I had to do my makeup on the go. And I was like, shit, I don't have any water. And, but I did have my sprays. So I used it like that. And I loved the way my makeup looked. Like that was like the best. <laughs> I've tried to do my makeup again like that, but no sé, it doesn't, it doesn't come out. I am going to go in with my translucent powder just to set that under eye area. So it hasn't come out good after that, but since then, I always set my under eye. Um... No, 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 what am I saying? Fudge, man, my words. I dampened my blender full with my setting spray since that day. And I remember I was talking to my homegirl about it and I was like, dude, my makeup just looks amazing. She's like, well, what did you do? And she actually freelanced for a while for um, Mac, like back in the day. Um, and I told her, I was like, oh, well, I, I dampened my my sponge with my setting spray and it just looks bomb she's like yeah girl she's like that's what happens and I was like okay well thanks <laughs> miss know-it-all but yeah so ever since then I've done it and I love it I don't set like this area here because of the way that my skin is so I only set like my t-zone And that's it. In my under eye, sorry. All right, I'm not gonna use like super crazy colors um, on my eyes, so that's why I went ahead and did my base first. So again, we're doing like a copper smoke. I like, first of all, my favorite, when people ask me what my favorite colors are, I just say fall because I love all colors, all colors fall. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is uh, or what season it is. I love my coppers, my greens, my mustards. It, I mean, <laughs> all right. So we are first going to go in with a transition color. Again, I'm going to list all of the colors in the description box. The colors uh, obviously aren't in the palette because like the you can create the palette on your own like by buying the colors individually. They have like um, what do you call it palettes that are preset for like your eye colors and those are really pretty. But all of my colors you have to like pop them out to figure out what colors are. I should I should buy one of those. Um, what do you call it? You know, those label makers? That way I can put it, but I'm always moving them around because if I go anywhere and, you know, or if I put a palette together for one of my customers uh, or I'm trying to show them palettes, uh, I'm, I put together like four, four wells and six wells. So I'm always popping them out. But I think I may just do that by a label maker. So anyways, I said that to you guys, so you guys know that it's a little difficult if I'm sitting here trying to pop out the colors to tell you guys what color, what the name or the number is. So I'm just going to put everything in the description box. All right.
Y'all, I need new brushes. So I am gonna get the Lime Life brushes, but I want like a like a second set. My brushes aren't even old. They last pretty good. All of, I think most of them are BH Cosmetics. But if you guys have some that you guys recently tried, let your girl know. And I don't have anything against the Morphe brand, but please don't say Morphe. Please, I have bought some before. Maybe I don't know if it's it was just a batch that I got or what, but they always fall apart. Like second, third wash, I'm like, holy moly, like this, I don't know. These ones have actually held up pretty good. I have, I've had one set since, um, before I had my youngest, so about three years now. And then the other set I've had, have they both been three years? Yeah, I think like three or two. I do have some Lime Life brushes but not that many. I want to get the whole set. Do you guys hear like these noises in the back? It's the wind. The wind here in Texas. <sighs> okay, I'm um, quick story. The first couple days, my husband was at work and the wind came in so hard I was convinced it was a tornado. And I called my mom and I was like, Ma, get out. And she was like, get in the tub. And I swear to you, I grabbed my girls so quick and I got into the tub. Y'all can make fun of me if you want. But I I mean, I'm first of all, I'm from Cali. Um, we lived in North Carolina for a while and there was no tornadoes over there. There was hurricanes, but not tornadoes. And then we just came from Washington, Washington State. There ain't no damn tornadoes over there. So, and I've heard that in Texas, there are tornadoes, but here in El Paso, it's not likely. So, but I did. And my girl, my four year old is like, mom, why are we at the tub? Like, because there's a tornado. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't tell her that. I didn't tell her that. Four year old get on me. No, I didn't tell her that. I just told her we're playing a game. We're playing a game. And she, she was like, oh, first of all, I was, a, I was on the phone with my mom. So she's like, looking at me like, what game are we playing? You're literally sitting here talking to my mommy. And I'm like, yeah, well, we're playing a game, okay? Girl, I was, I shouldn't say girl because some of y'all might not be girls. Some of y'all might be men that are watching or dudes or whatever, whoever you are watching. But I'm talking to you guys like I'm talking to my homegirls. But when, when you don't know, and you just think like, you know what's going on, panic strikes, panic strikes, it does. My mom's probably watching this video like laughing her ass off at me. You told me mom, you told me to get into the tub. I really like this look. This could be like if I do like a nude or like, um, what is this? No, that's angel food. Oh, that one would look good too. But if I did ruby chocolate, like a mauve color, this could be easily a, um, like a soft glam. I think that's good. I think now I'm just going to add the... The copper color. And then I'll do my brows. Why do I do my brows last? I don't know. I get a little off track sometimes while I'm... Or not sometimes. It's only my third video. <laughs> but it happens while, when I'm on live too. Like on live Facebook. I get off track and then I'm like, shit, I haven't done my... My brows all right now let's do this copper look <sighs> F 
flies, y'all. Fucking hate flies. And Texas has a lot of them. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, y'all, I'm gonna get one of those. One of those, um. Those electric fly swatters. That was. <laughs> Zap their asses away. Damn flies. Alright. Sorry, y'all, I'm concentrating. That damn fly threw me off. <laughs> I swear, y'all, I'm gonna end up being that person that has like, you know when you go to stores and they have like those huge fans like on top of the doorway? That way when it like opens, it keeps the flies from like coming in. Dang. And here, the reason why there's flies inside the house is because when I let the dogs in and out during the day, they come in. Today, I got like a couple of them, but then I'm over here on Google or even here on YouTube, like trying to figure out like homemade fly traps. And I had most of the ingredients except apple cider vinegar, which is the main one. Thanks. All right, I think that's it. I am gonna darken up like this little area over here and then beans now I'm gonna go in with uh, work hard play hard because I like um, play hard has like a shimmer to it and then work hard is just like a matte brown and I am going to put that on my under eye my lower lash line I should say where is that damn brush oh here it is I have to be quick because this pencil sets in like 10 seconds and then it doesn't move. No matter what you do, it ain't gonna move. I don't know what it is, but I it doesn't matter if I don't have anything on my on my eyelids, I always have to put like a dark brown or like a deeper taupe color on my lower lash line. I don't know why. Even I even take my bronzer under my lash line sometimes. Just like the way it opens up my eyes. So growing up, I, I mean, I don't know, maybe it was, you know, the, the year, the era. Um, so when I was in high school, it was between 2003 to 2000, 2007, right? So during that time, even like when I was an eighth grader, like people wore like heavy eyeliner and like your waterline, like everywhere, okay? And I did always wear like a wing. But I also put black liner like in my waterline because I used to like people used to be like, oh, your big old eyes, like people used to make fun of how big my eyes were. And so it was like an insecurity. And as I got older, like I embraced it because I was like, damn, I, I like my eyes. So I don't like you'll never, ever, ever catch me putting like a dark color on my waterline. And if you do, call me out because that's like really rare. I don't even remember the last time I did that. And you know, then the, the, what brand was that? Damn, why can't I remember what brand it was? The Jumbo Milk, the white one, the white pencil. Remember then that came in? Like, I, people still use it. But 
now I use the neutrals on my lower lash line. And since I don't have eyeliner on the top, I am going to tight line my my eyes with the matte brown. I don't want to do the black because then it'll stand out too much. All right. Let's go ahead and do my brows and my blush. And then I think we're good. I almost closed out this video and didn't even do my brows. There is a brow product that I recently saw on, on the Tickety Talk, and I really want to try it out. So I may just have to do like a review because I saw it and I was like, mm, okay, I think I like that. Um, but I need to, I need to get it. All right, sorry guys, I had to speed that up because if not, it it just takes a little bit, a little bit longer for me to do my brows. Let's do some lashes. I am going to be using the Red Aspen Lashes and Cheska. Y'all are gonna learn real quick that those are some of my favorite lashes. I am trying to like branch out and find other lashes um, because I need new ones. But I'm picky. Like I am very, very picky when it comes to lashes. Like if they're not, um, if they're not like the right band, let me tell you about the last time I bought uh, what do you call it? I hadn't cleaned my lashes because I do clean my lashes so they last me longer. Um, I hadn't cleaned like my favorite ones. I had like a few pairs and I hadn't cleaned them because it was just, it was just like busy times. Um, I think it was like during the time that we were packing up to move. And so I was like, let me just go buy some new ones. So I went, I went to Ulta and I bought like a few lashes of you. I spent too much on lashes <laughs> and I was doing I was doing a live and I was trying to I was gonna put them on and then as I put them on like I went through like three of the styles that I bought because it was just like what the heck the bands were just like stabbing me in the eye or they just like didn't look the way they looked in the packaging it just wasn't cute at all and i was gonna get these uh, magnet lashes and um i heard this girl in the aisle because her mom pointed out or i don't know i think it was her mom her mom pointed out the lashes that i was getting and she's like look those are pretty and she's like no those are the ones that i just returned she's like because it wasn't holding up so i turned and i looked at her i was like are these the ones she's like she's like yeah they're cute she's like but i ended up having to use like just regular glue because the magnet whatever it is the liner wasn't holding up so i was like oh so i need new lashes guys y'all let me know what are your faves And please don't say double wispies because those were my go-to for a long time. But then when you use, and it's not it's not to like shade them, okay? It's not to shade them. They're like the style is so cute. But once you use like different bands, you just can't go back to them. 
Like it's not, it's not the same. It's just, it's just not. So y'all let me know. And if you guys sell lashes, y'all let me know. You guys, I already said it in the, my last video. I love supporting small businesses, you know? So if y'all, if y'all do lashes and you guys either make lashes or, or you guys sell like really good lashes, who knows? Y'all might be my next lash chick and I'll shout y'all out. All right. And we're back. But ask me to put lashes on you and trust me, they're gonna go on the first first time. I don't know what it is about putting lashes on someone else that I can do so, so good. <laughs> but on me, sometimes it takes a bit. Just doing a little bit of highlight right here. My inner corner. This isn't it. Where's my... Is this it? Look at that. I love this one. Now for the bold lip. This is um, our Enduring Lip Liner in Cocoa. All right, guys, that's that. I love the way this look came out. If you guys like it, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys have a look that you guys um, want me to try, let me do it too. Send it to me on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever it is that you guys find me on. Um, let me know. I would love to recreate a look that you guys like. Um, but until then, I will see you guys on my next Mamacita Monday. Bye. God bless you guys.